everyone welcome to my channel my name is Andrea I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark eBay Mercari Kidizen and Tradesy and um, I do videos about my rese reselling journey I do what sold videos I do thrift hauls and some other kinds of videos and if you like content like that if you want to learn to resell or see what I, what is selling for me uh, please give this video a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel and today I'm going to do a retail arbitrage haul if you don't know what retail arbitrage is is when you buy things at retail stores uh, to resell for a profit usually when they have their, their clearance sales uh, today I'm going to show you a Nordstrom rack haul um, twice a year Nordstrom rack has their um, shoe um, clearance in April or May they have a boot clearance which they discount the boots 50% uh, of their clearance ticket price and I've, I've shot their uh, boot clearance for three years in a row um, this year I don't know if I missed it or if because of the pandemic they didn't do it um, I don't know if they did it online but I didn't know about it so I was very bummed that this year I didn't uh, stock up on boots <clears throat> uh, but they are doing a uh, heels sandals and flats um, clearance right now and I decided to check it out and I'm very glad I did because I did not only get heels I also found some boots so I'm gonna show you everything that I bought uh, in previous years I spent about a thousand dollars this year um, I only bought because I don't think uh, the resale value for boots is the same as this, the resale value for flats and sandals and heels unless it's a very des desirable brand I don't think they go for as much as boots so <clears throat> But it's still worth to pick it up. Shoes is a, are, are very good things to have in your closet. They sell consistently because people can go by, you know, with the same pair of jeans. But shoes you're wearing every day and they get worn. You need to replace them. So I spent a total of $467.99. And I bought 33 pairs of shoes. My total, I'm just looking at my computer here because I calculated it and it's open. And so my cost of good for per pair of shoes is $14.18. I think that's awesome um, because they're brand new shoes. And I sometimes pay even $10 for a pair of shoes at the thrift store. These are my receipts here. So I have three receipts because I went to two different stores and in one store, I also bought two pair of jeans and I'm gonna show it to you as well. But uh, the lady wanted to do two separate, the cashier wanted to do two separate transactions because the that's one other thing. Uh, the shoes are non-returnable. Say that's a final sale. I cannot, if I see a damage here, I cannot go and return it and Previous years, um, we could always return if you didn't, you know, you come home and you decide, oh, these boots are not going for as much as I thought they were, and you could go back and return them. For these uh, shoes that I'm going to show you, I cannot return any of the pairs, so I'm a little, so I was a little bit, uh, a little bit conservative with uh, what I picked up and a little bit pickier than I would have been um, if I could return <clears throat> them if I needed to so let me see i have shoes everywhere so let's start with this one right here that is on top the first pair uh i'm gonna show you are these kate spade espadrilles um they are this you know wedge platform and they are made of suede and they have a little kate spade uh plaque right here i bought two pairs of the shoes they're called the fanny uh, uh style and i bought a size nine and a size nine and a half <clears throat> so keep in mind that i'm um some shoes are were more expensive and some were cheaper but the overall cost of goods was 14 dollars 18 so that's what i'm counting for each pair uh these are echoes 
uh, I've never picked up Echoes ever before, but I heard from other resellers that it's a good brand to pick up. So those are just some leather sandals and they have Velcro right here. Just some comfort shoes and they are size 40. Yeah, it's here in the bottom. I don't know um, what size 40 is equals to with this brand because each brand is different. So every time I'm going to look the conversion, I go to the website. Um, I don't go just for, you know, with a regular like, oh, 40 is a size 10 because every brand is different. <clears throat> so but I believe a size 10 then I bought three pairs of these and I I know this might be a mistake because these are going to be saturated I've already seen two other resellers that they're picking up these Soro um, uh, flats but you know I can always wait until they are not saturated anymore in one or two years they're all going to be sold out and I might be selling them still you know so I can I can wait it's okay I uh, bought three sizes I bought a size eight a nine and a eight and a half they are so beautiful they're leather and they have this gold metallic um, yep I think you can go wrong with them then I bought two pairs of the same style of Berry Topsider uh, boat shoes and they were size very si size very small but I'm thinking that you know kids are going back to school maybe teenagers would like these to go back to, to wear to school I don't know or or <laughs> I don't know if teenagers wear them but uh, they are size six and I have another pair of the same style same color size five and a five and a half then I bought two pairs of the same style as well. They are these clogs by Quarks. They are really nice, beautiful. And I think I bought a size nine and a half and a 10. So two pairs of these. Then I bought these Kohan blue sneakers i don't know the name of the style most of these shoes are not listed i only listed i believe um four pairs so these are size eight see they have this kohan right here they are so nice and they uh are a uh, uh, new book i don't know if that's how you say this kind of leather but it's leather and uh, i love kohan shoes they are so great they're great quality. Then I bought these Ugg shoes, Ugg loafers. And then they have this detail right here. You can see here, these are Uggs. And they are a size seven and a half. I bought these Papilio. They are from Birkenstock, so you know, they have the same kind of sole and same sizing. So I think people who like Birkenstocks would like these as well. And I love the colors. They're, it's a, you know, a creamy color and a gold metallic here. And they tie around the ankle, size 41. Okay, then I have these Keds. You know, people going back to school, they will need shoes, and I love that they are an animal print. They are size 10, I believe. Uh, let me see if it's here. They are size 10. And they have a gold hardware right here. And where is it? It says get right here in gold font. Then I bought some more corks. These booties, they have a uh, they tie here in the back. They have nice accent, crisscross accent, lace up, something like that, and a 
side zipper closure. I bought two black pairs. Uh, one is a size nine and the other one a size nine and a half. And I also bought this beautiful taupe collar, which is a size eight. Then I bought these Timberland black sneakers. They are a size 11. So that's probably gonna take a, a while to move because bigger sizes and smaller sizes usually do. Sorry, there are shoes everywhere. Then I bought these Donald J. Kleiner flats. I bought these because I really like the style. They're black uh, suede right here. And then they have this animal print here. And they are a size... What size are these? Uh, they're a size nine and a half. And they came, I found them with the box which is always a plus. Then I bought these Jeffrey Campbell. They look like a, a snake skin texture, but this is a, it feels like a new, new book, new book, new book leather as well. See, they have this cutout detail here and the chunky heel. Uh, stacked heel as well and see that's what it says Jeffrey Campbell and they are size 9 and I bought these Toms again because of back to school you know so they are a size five and a half women's maybe you know teenage girl are looking for some nice comfy sneakers then I bought these Kohans slip on no slip I, I don't know exactly how to how to call this style if you know please help me <laughs> so they're a little dusty little don't know. yeah so they are a size seven and a half I love this style so so much I find it very elegant I love the color too it's kind of a uh, rusty orange, not orange, rusty red, you know, a brownish red, but it's beautiful and elegant. I wish it was my size. If it was half a size bigger, I would keep it. And they are, you know, they have the espadrilles as well on the side. This pair already has, uh, I think, four or five lights. This was one of the pairs that I listed. I didn't, they are a pair of Fry uh, slip on shoes and they are a size six. So it's a small size, but don't you love them? I love the, the red color. Okay, I have, I was so in love with these shoes. I wanted to keep them, but they are not my size. I looked for for them in my size maybe i'm gonna look on uh maybe somebody picked them up and is selling them on poshmark or ebay but they are a size seven i'm a size eight so if you have a size eight of this pair of uh shoes please let me know you see there are espadrilles here and they they have a like a little bit of a platform and i love the colors you see, this would be so cute for 4th of July. They have the American flag collars. And the laces have this uh, metallic, you know, the, this metal. And I love, 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 love these shoes. These also are listed and already have, I think, four, three to four likes. Aren't they awesome? They're full of paper because I, I keep them like that so they don't lose their shape. But they are some platform clog type uh, type of shoe with this gold brushed detail like that. These are free people, and they are a size thirty eight. And this is wood. These are just awesome. I picked these up. They are Tom's. Toms don't do very well for me. They usually sit for a long time. 
and they don't go for too much but I didn't pay much for them and uh, I thought because of back to school again somebody would like them and I wanted to keep them for myself but again it's not my size it's a uh, half a size too big but I love this it's a suede and it's a kind of a coral color I love these they are so comfortable I tried them on but they are a little bit too big and they, again they have the espadrilles here and they're they're you know a little bit of a platform so it makes you a little bit taller which is also good for somebody who is not very tall then I found I leave some yeah I left some there I found you wouldn't believe I found these boots and I was gonna buy them I think they were uh, 20 something dollars so I was gonna buy them they're um, they are lucky brand and I was gonna buy them full price but the lady said you know they have a heel <laughs> I can give you a 50% discount and I, of course I wasn't mad about it but they have this beautiful stacked heel and they are so nice and lucky brand boots usually do very well for me they are a size seven and a half then i found these um eileen fisher boots booties ankle boots however you want to call it and they have a snap here on the side and they have a zipper on the other my son is helping me he brought me some boots that i had left they have the stacked heel they have the low heel very comfortable and they're not a, a big size not a very good size six and a half but i think they will do well and they came with the box so then i found these these are these were full price these were i bought them at the second store and i thought you know the lady is gonna give me you know a discount because they have a heel but the, the cashier was not having it she's like no dude, these are boots they're not heels so i paid full price uh for them so they are michael kors you see the mk here and they're size 11. i'm sure they're gonna sit for a while but they're so nice i couldn't leave them behind then my last pair of boots and these are the ones that i was most excited about because they are gorgeous 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 they're a sock boot they're kohan look at the heel how interesting it is it's a stacked heel it's leather here it's waterproof waterproof water resistant and they're comfortable because they have this stretch sock material right here they have the buckle on one side these are just gorgeous um they are a size nine which is a good size not a very large size and not a small size so i'm gonna show you now two things that i picked up at marshall's they are having their yellow tech uh clearance sale which always happens in august so i picked up these kohan men's uh penny loafers they are size eight i uh, believe eight and a half they're so nice if you have like somebody who's a guy who is very trendy he would love to wear these and i bought these lucky brand uh, I already removed the price, but I think I paid twelve dollars for them. And they're espadrilles as well. You can see a thing here; everything is espadrilles, and uh, kind of a tan suede and a sling back, size six and a half. Now I'm going to show you the two last things that I bought, and one of them I'm going to return. I was there for the shoes, but I decided to stop at the jeans and take a look. And I was thinking in my head, mother, mother, I want to find mother jeans. And I found this pair, but then I was looking up comps and it doesn't justify to pick this up for $24 when there are a thousand of the same style listed on the same... <laughs> <laughs> on this uh of the same size and same style um and some people are listing it very low like 30 dollars. so this is gonna go back 
but I don't I have not looked up this one yet this style but it's another pair of mother jeans this one was $27 you know mother jeans usually do very well my I'm sorry I'm sorry there are there's a noise of bags my son is playing with the cat and um so i think mother jeans brand new with tags it retailed for 228 dollars and that's a size where is it 28 great size it's it has the it's called the looker ankle fray <laughs> sorry you have a little boy here see i love frayed uh ham jeans and i think this is gonna do well so hopefully i can sell it for at least 75 dollars and that's it for my haul i hope you liked it and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you on the next video bye bye